With the 2022 season in full swing and other spring sports taking place, such as here in Cincinnati, where the Bengals are coming off a shock Super Bowl run, FC Cincinnati is, well, getting there, and the Reds are... <coughs> yeah, let's not talk about that. Anyway, recently I stumbled upon a documentary on the CW called 2040. It was basically about a realistic standpoint of what the world could be like with more renewable energy being used and how we can combat climate change with the technologies we have. Like it wasn't all doom and gloom, which I appreciate. And I only took some glances at it while I was working, but it got me thinking of something weird that I think would be fun to talk about. What will NASCAR be like in the year 2040? First of all, yes, it's insanely hard to predict what will happen 18 years from now. Heck, even a year from now. Comparing auto racing to other sports, I think auto racing changes the most out of any of them. However, it would be something fun to talk about anyway. And I know there will be those people who are proud members of the NASCAR's dying club, but NASCAR... NASCAR is in a pretty good spot right now. Ratings are going up, the next-gen car has been a success so far, and not to mention 2022 has been a banger as well. The first thing I will talk about is the car. I wouldn't be surprised if by 2040, NASCAR is just about full-on electric. There is a hybrid engine in the works that might debut by 2024, and with the next-gen car looking to be built to withstand some sort of electrification, that could also open the door for more OEMs in the sport. I think by 2040, we will see another generation race car. The Gen 4 car lasted about 15 years, I think. The car of tomorrow lasted about 6 years. And the Gen 6 car lasted 8 years. I think Chevy, Ford, and Toyota will still be around in NASCAR, though it's hard to say what cars will be used from each OEM, as Chevy, I believe, is discontinuing the Camaro very soon, or at least I've seen reports of it. Ford has made an electric Mustang SUV, so there's a good chance Ford could still use the Mustang. And as for Toyota, I really don't know. The Supra, the Camry, it's always a possibility. It just depends what the automobile market is like by then. Right now, we are seeing more car manufacturers building more electric vehicles, especially with the rise in gas prices going on, and that is what makes me believe that by then, NASCAR will possibly be full-on electric. I mean, it's not a matter of if, but when, because I think this is the wave of the future, and I think at some point, NASCAR will also introduce uh, an electric racing series, much like what you see with Formula E. So what about the schedule? What tracks will still be on? What tracks could be off the schedule by then? I mean, we are seeing all sorts of changes being made now. So who knows how much could change by then? I do think NASCAR will have an international race or two by then. Like when NASCAR raced in Japan a couple times in the late 90s. The clash at the LA Coliseum looked like to be a pretty big success. So we could see a stadium race or two by then as well, depending on what stadiums could withstand it, of course. Heck, if NASCAR goes full on electric by then, they could probably race in indoor stadiums without a problem. you still got ageless tracks like Daytona, Martinsville, and Darlington and tracks like that. Then you got recent improvements to tracks like Phoenix and Richmond to help the tracks continue to stay on the schedule. Then of course some tracks could be reconfigured by then too, like what we saw with Atlanta. Though I still hope they don't turn every mile and a half into a super speedway. And then the next question is, is there any chance to see a brand new racetrack being built? You don't see that much often these days, so I don't really know. Um, as We've also seen short tracks like Myrtle Beach and Mansfield and tracks like Nazareth been torn down for other developmental uses. And then you see the futures of tracks like Memphis, which look pretty bleak as well. So who knows? A lot of fans want to see more short tracks and road courses, so who knows how much that could change by then. As for the teams and drivers, I think that's going to be the hardest to predict. By then, Chase Elliott would be 44 years old, Kyle Larson would be 47, Austin Sindrick would be 41, and he's a rookie this year. And a lot of the young guns now would already be retiring by then. Though guys like Sam Meyer and Ty Gibbs may still be racing in the Cup Series as they would be in their late 30s. They could be at the tail end of their careers, however. Perhaps by then, we could be talking about rising stars like Brexton Bush, Owen Larson, Cash Boyer, Heck, even Isla Earnhardt if they wish to be in the Cup Series someday, but who knows? This is 18 years from now, so we don't know what the driver landscape will be like then. Though, teams like Hendrick Motorsports may still be around thanks to Jeff Gordon, who will have the HMS thrown by then most likely. Uh, Joe Gibbs Racing has Coin Ty Gibbs, Team Penske has Team Cindric as well. Uh, then you got current rising teams like Colleague and Trackhouse, that could be elite teams by then too, and 
Who knows what other teams could come along by then as well. So what do you guys think? What could NASCAR look like by 2040? Will NASCAR be electric? How many championships do you think guys like Elliott and Larson will win? How different could the schedule look like? There are so many possibilities and questions. Um, I'm sure 18 years from now I can look back on this video and, and get a good laugh out of it. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you think. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm Sonic Rules 831 and I'll see you in the next video.